Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. I've done quite a few videos before this on my VIB recommendations, so I will link those below because I still stand by those. And a lot of these, some of these will be duplicates, um, but I have some new ones in here, but some of them are duplicates. But go back and just you know scan through those videos real quickly to see if there's anything that maybe I missed that I didn't talk about this time or you're interested in trying. So let's first start with the T3 Whirl Trio. I feel like um, a lot of, I have hair on my face. I always like, I always have like a rogue hair from doing my makeup like as soon as I start filming. All right, so there's a lot of kind of buzz about this T3 Whirl Trio and T3 in general. I know you guys know my saga of doing the hair tutorial, loving that wand that I use realizing they don't make it anymore and then it broke after four years and so I was on the hunt for a new one. Uh, went through a few different ones and finally settled on the T3 and so like I said before my only kind of gripe with it is that you can't buy the base separately. You have to buy the base as part of like a full set um, so you can't like buy the base and then just buy all the interchangeable you know wands though they do sell the wand separately but they don't sell the base separately That's what they get you. But the World Trio is definitely, it comes with a one and a half inch barrel, which this one is, which is what I'm using today, which I typically, that's what I use for my hair. It also comes with a one inch barrel that I don't really use too much. And then the, the kind of cone shaped wand, I think it's 1.75 and goes down to a 1.25 or one inch. I haven't tried that yet, but I hear that it's very, very nice. I also did purchase the 1.25, so the one and a quarter wand separately, and I really enjoy that, and I tend to use that um, interchangeably with the one and a half. And but the one and a half gives me like the big curls that I like, and that's typically I've tried the one inch, and it just doesn't work for my hair. It's like really tight curls, and it ends up being like really short and kind of it's just not attractive on me. That is. And so I really like the one and a half. So I really would recommend the T3. I have found my curl sale day, it gets very hot. And so you can maybe, if you're not familiar with using a wand, they put a glove on first. I think they sell like a heat protecting glove or I don't think this comes with it, but um, you can, you know, use a heat protecting glove when you're wrapping it. I've gotten used to it. So I know how to kind of maneuver my hands around it. All right, let's get on to foundations. The Dior Forever Foundation. Love this one. So, oh, why is it not focusing? There we go. So the Dior Forever Foundation, this is the reformulated one because I had the old Dior Forever and love that. Love this one. Love Dior foundations in general. I'm in the shade 010. It's a great medium coverage. Gives pretty, like a velvety natural matte finish. The color range we've talked about before is meh in Dior, but if you can get past that, which I can, I love the formulas. Another Dior foundation that I highly recommend is the Dior Nude Air Serum foundation. Beautiful velvety matte finish, very sheer. A velvety matte, but glowy. Very hard to explain, but if you've used it before, you know what I'm talking about. Such a beautiful foundation. Lancome, Tenty Doll. Yeah, of course, we figured this one was gonna be in there, right? Um, love that foundation, very long wearing, very great for if you have oily skin, stays very matte, lasts all day, it is smudge proof, it is a just, there's a reason why it's a cult classic. Ooh, the Surat Surreal Skin Wand here. I have it in the shade, oh, the Dior, Nude Air 010 is my shade, and then Lancome, I'm 140N. This is why I have this, the 110 Ivory, and I'm like, no, no, it's not my shade. I have a lighter shade, but I'm typically the 140N. In the Surratt, I'm in shade number one, and that's kind of like a nice, natural, more sheer, slightly glowy foundation, but not glowy where if you have oily skin, it's really gonna be too glowy, and I just, I just love, I think the brush on this foundation is exceptional for a brush foundation that's attached. It is exceptional. Another product that I have kind of gone back to and I recently bought a backup, I bought my mom a backup, or bought my mom one, 
is the beauty blender. Mine's like, mine needs to be cleaned. I know. I bought the beauty blender. I'm buying the beauty blender, blender cleanser during the sale. So I just typically use like soap and water, but I'm going to try the cleanser itself. And I love the beauty blender. I've gone back to it. I used it for a while and then I kind of like fell off and then I'm like back in love with it. I'm using, I wore it today, used it to apply my Tom Ford foundation today. And it's just, get yourself one, you know, it's, it is a little pricey. I mean, it's $20 for a sponge, but it is really great. Once you get the technique down, that kind of like bouncy technique and you have certain foundations that maybe you really want to salvage because they're not your favorite because they pull on dry patches or this can salvage almost any foundation. That's what I really like about it. Oh, the Anastasia Solo Shadows. So I was going through like my drawers to kind of decide what I wanted to pull for this video. And I forgot, I want to make sure I mention these. I thought they were exclusive at one point to the Anastasia website, I believe, which is why I never talked about them before. But I love the shade, like Chocolate Crumble is a beautiful shade. Let me see, they're really hard to get out here. Oat Brownie is a beautiful shade. I have a really good nude here. It's Lace. Do yourself a favor, pick up at least one. They are such a beautiful formulation. And she has like the best, oh Belize, Belize, it's a beautiful color. She has such great formulas and the nudes like the brown shades are absolutely beautiful so even if you want to create a whole palette or just pick up a solo I highly recommend those and I haven't talked about them in a while but now I am the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics the mirror fell out for me don't use that as a reason not to get this but this is I mean it's such a good palette I've been using the heck out of this palette I love I love the tones in it all the shades I love the formulation. I really think it's a beautiful formulation. I had pulled the Vice palette, lip palette to talk about, and then I realized it wasn't on Sephora. I think the Junkie Vice palette is lip palette, and that's, mm, has like wild colors and stuff. There's like green in there. I, like, mm. I mean, for somebody, but not for me. And it's not in my recommendations. So really love that. I mean, you could buy the regular Naked uh, basics palette rather than the ultimate but the ultimate really has so many great shades in it like some cool tones some warm tones and all matte yay all right Bobbi Brown retouching wand I have used I believe I used this in a tutorial I have it in the shade extra light Ugh. just it's like flawlessness under the eyes that's what it is it's flawlessness under the eyes it's a little bit of a concealer a little bit of brightener a little bit of a highlighter but with coverage. So it's just, compared to the Candle Glow from Laura Mercier, the Candle Glow I feel is much more sheer and a little bit more dewy. All right, want some mascara recommendations? Yes, I'm sure you do. The Estee Lauder Sumptuous Volume is one of my favorite of all times. The Guerlain Maxi Lash, both I highly recommend. I'm actually wearing the Marc Jacobs, his like newer mascara today. Mm, I don't like it. I, I thought it was okay at first and then I was like, but you know when you have it, you like keep wanting to make it work. So I keep like putting it on being like, I'm gonna love this mascara. And it's just, it's a little high maintenance. It's got the little fibers and stuff and it's just always, I know, I'm sorry, this is not a non-recommendations video. This is a recommendations video. So I need to stay on track and stop saying things that I don't like. Okay, those two mascaras, love them. Oh, I have some fragrances for you guys, yes. All right, the Black Opium from YSL, I have a little, I'm planning on buying some roller balls or some like little purse sprays and some fragrances to test out, see if I want to buy a large size. But the YSL Black Opium, so nice. If you ever tried the YSL Opium, I worked for YSL years ago, so I'm very familiar with the Opium scent. It's very distinct. A lot of people think it's very like older smelling fragrance. I mean, it's been around for years, um, but it has a very distinct customer. But the Black Opium is a little bit warmer and not as kind of like almost that like powdery scent. It's very warm. It has some sweetness to it. A little musky. It's beautiful. All right. Jimmy Choo Illicit for fall. Just really warm. Mmm. Like vanilla-y, warm, bourbon-y smelling. Love that. The Fresh Cannabis Santal. Oh, I'm like, let me just like untie here or untwist it up. Oh, so good. 
it's very hard to explain if you've tried it. It's it's very unique. Go online and look at the, at the actual notes. It's kind of warm, kind of spicy. It it's beautiful. All right, I I only have the Midnight Floor by Nest in like small travel sizes or roller balls, but I wanted to show you like what a full size would look like. This is the Midnight Floor Soleil, which is like lighter for day, but I love the Midnight Floor Regular by Nest. It was one of the first Nest fragrances I tried. It's so unique. I'm sure if you've used it before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's one of those fragrances where you're like, what's in that? That's odd. And then it like grows on you and you're like, this is amazing. I'm wearing it today and it's such a beautiful um, fragrance. I didn't pull any other like non-wintery fragrances because we're going into fall and winter. Or at least the Northern Hemisphere. I don't know. <laughs> you know, maybe places in the world are going into summer and spring. But here, especially in the United States, we're going into fall and winter. So that's why I pulled those fragrances. The, okay, let's talk about some skincare. I didn't pull a ton of skincare. I'm sorry. Look back on some of my old Sephora VIB recommendation videos. There's some great ones there. I did a skincare products that I've repurchased the most video. So there's a lot of great recommendations there. But these are the ones that really stood out to me that I really wanted to make a point to talk about. The Goat Milk Cleanser by Kate Somerville. It's like balmy, rich goodness. It's a moisturizing cleanser. It is just butter. Butter for your face. In a good way, nobody wants to put actual butter on their face. But this feels like it's just gloriously rich and creamy. Gets off makeup, use it as a second cleanse, use it all over your body, I don't care. It is just absolutely stunning. The SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, yeah. I mean, snag yourself a bottle. Maybe a smaller bottle, you'll get the discount. If you wanted to try it, I recommend just doing it. Uh, if you're going to get it anytime, get it during the sale time. And they have different sizes. So obviously start with the smallest size. Don't ever just like go for the big guns and go for the big size if you've never tried it before. But ease your way in. And I have been using it for years, still use it. It's in my routine pretty much all the time. Okay. I get asked a ton about dark spots, hyperpigmentation, how do I fade all this stuff that's coming on my face and not making it look even and perfect. This is one of my favorite serums of all time that really helps to fade dark spots. It's the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. I'm actually back on it right now because I had some hyperpigmentation and whatnot from summer, especially like right through here, my forehead, I have it right in my cheeks. I know you can't see it, I'm wearing makeup. And plus I've really got really good lighting. But I definitely do up close, there's some hyperpigmentation and I'm back on it. I typically go on it for like a month and a half and I use it at night, but when I'm using it, like make sure you have SPF. I mean, make sure you're wearing SPF every day anyway, but especially if you're using like a lightning serum, I mean, what's the point? You're just gonna like, and I wouldn't recommend using it in the summer. Use it in the winter when you're not gonna be out as much, because in the summertime, it's like, well, that's just a waste. And one more is the Hydrating Gel Cream from Bobbi Brown. I know, Bobbi Brown, I love her makeup, and I'm all like, mm, skincare. But this I love and it makes me like want to try more. I have some more for skincare and I'm like, I need to try more stuff. I'm almost out in fact. It's such a lightweight, nice texture that leaves my skin feeling hydrated. It never makes it oily. It's just very comfortable. I think for someone with more combination or oily skin, it could be very comfortable. I think if you have more dry skin, you may need something a little richer. All right, let's get back to some makeup. All right. the. Uh, Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. Yeah, Bronze O2. It is just, this is one of the smoothest, softest, silkiest bronzers out there. And the color is so beautiful, especially if you're really fair like me. It's a great bronzer because it's definitely not too dark. Another really soft and smooth powder, this is a blush though, is the Marc Jacobs Air Blushes. This is in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. All the names are like real kind of cheeky and those like ones like Kinks and something. I mean, they're all a little cheeky. They're all a little Marc Jacobs-y. Um, but the texture on these, very much like that um, really smooth, finely milled um, feeling. It just glides right on, doesn't get patchy, doesn't like, you know, settle into fine lines. It's such a beautiful formulation. 
Um, got an eyeshadow here, Burberry Pale Barley. Yeah, I mean, it's a classic. Get it. You're going to love it. And if you don't, I'm sorry. I apologize. Sephora has a very generous return policy. <laughs> Another eyeshadow is Armani Eye Tint in number nine. I have no idea what the actual name is. I'm kind of like, I've got really good eyesight, but on camera, look, looking at this tiny little thing, it looks like I don't. Number nine is beautiful. I have in my cart another Armani Eye Tint to buy. I love the eye tints. They are really beautiful. I know that our Eyes to Kill are really nice as well. I feel like those are getting discontinued because I haven't seen them on many websites, but the eye tints are beautiful. Now the matte ones, I don't like them. I like the shimmer ones better. I don't like the matte ones. Some people like the matte ones. I do not. But this is a video about stuff I do like, so let's get back to that. Eye pencils, like jumbo eye pencils. The Sephora one, the Colorful Shadow and Liner in Taupe. I have shown this before. I've worn it in videos. It's like a real silvery, brownish taupe color. Absolutely beautiful. And then nude sticks. I had to pull this out the other day because I was like, why am I not talking about this? I wear this almost every single day. It's Twilight. Let's see if I'll do a little swatchy swatch here. Twilight. It's just, it's just a little bit, it's a brownie taupe, more silvery than it is gold. I'll swatch the Sephora one here. This is a little bit warmer. The Sephora one, but it's a beautiful formulation. All right, everything else is lips. The Surat Prismatique lips. I love these. My favorite color is Chi Chi. And I have four of the shades, though. They're all beautiful. And they're a shimmer lipstick. And I'm all like, mm-mm, shimmer lipstick. Save that for the 80s. But these, he elevated shimmer lipsticks to be chic and fabulous again. And they are absolutely gorgeous. The Bare Minerals liquid matte lipsticks. I'm, like, forgetting what they are. The Gen Nude ones in Slay. Of course, you guys know, not Slay like Santa. Like Slay, like Beyonce. <laughs> Did you see me? I'm like, slay. It was awful. Um, and the Bare Minerals Friendship. This is a little bit darker. Slay is the one that I've been talking about for a long time. It's like that kind of neutral pink that looks beautiful. It's a little, I don't know, just really basic, really neutral. And then Friendship is kind of new to me. I like realized I forgot that I had this one and I put it on the other day and I was like, oh, much deeper, a little more orange, but gorgeous for fall. And I've been wearing a lot of my Snapchats. So it's really just like, it's a very kind of a bolder lip, somewhat like what I'm wearing, which is like a Bobbi Brown color. It's a little bit bold like this, which I've really been loving for fall. And you know what I pulled out the other day and I was like, yeah, I need to talk about this. Stila Fiery Liquid Lipstick. If you want a red lipstick, oh my gosh, I'm like scared you can put it on my arm because it, it, it won't come out till like next it won't come off till like next Tuesday or something. But if you want a really gorgeous red classic, you know, I love an orange red. This isn't really an orange red. This is a very classic, cool, more cool tone than orange, uh, but more classic red. Very little high maintenance though to put on. So definitely make sure maybe put a lip liner on first, but it's a really gorgeous formula. And the nude sticks, um, oh, why did I grab this one? Oh, I totally grabbed the wrong one. Sorry. The Nude Sticks Matte Lip Pencil in Bell. Love it. Once again, it was in my fall nude lip video. Love that formula. Love the color. Oh, and the new Makeup Forever High Precision Lip Liners. I think they're new because I just received these. I am loving the shade number 11. They have so many good nudes. So 11, 12, 13, and 14 are all kind of nude shades. And, and you can barely see that the line is like so fine. Sorry. But it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous lip liner. A little creamy, but not too creamy, not too dry, but more the color is what I, they have some really great nude shades and some kind of deeper rosy shades, some plums. I don't know, I think there's a few reds, but definitely go, if, go for um, the nude shades. Okay, those are my recommendations. I have my cart ready to go. I think that the sale starts on the 4th for BIB Rouge members. I don't know what I am. I lost my Rouge status like last year because I, I don't know, I wasn't spending a lot at Sephora. I buy a lot from Nordstrom and a lot from like Saks and Evans and, but I didn't buy a lot from Sephora. So I lost my Rouge status. I got like bumped down. 
But I have, think I've spent enough this year to be rouge again, so I don't know. Maybe I'm rouge, maybe I'm not. We'll go see. I'll see when I go to check out, and I will do a haul video. I'm not buying a lot of stuff. I know some people, like, go bananas crazy during the sale. I don't. I mean, I just... That's not how I like to budget everything. I like to, like, buy a little bit here and a little bit there. But I do have some things that I'm purchasing, so I'll do, like, a little mini haul video afterwards. And please let me know what you guys are buying. I would love to hear. I love recommendations, and I love everyone else reading everyone's recommendations because you guys always have great ones. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.